not a crook. Welcome to Law Bite. The following is for entertainment purposes only. It is not legal advice, not even close. And now for the very finest in idiotic legal news and commentary. This is Law Bite. What's the worst that could happen? Is probably what Dana McIntyre of Grafton, Vermont said when he allegedly pocketed more than 660,000 bucks in federal coronavirus relief funds. Now those funds were part of the PPP program, which was designed to help businesses get back on their feet by funding payroll and other overhead. So what did Dana do? Well, he said he had 50 or so employees when he actually only had 10. Hey, good effort, man. Except, you know, that's fraud. But here's the great part. Uh, Dana didn't even spend it on those 10 employees, give or take 40 employees. He pocketed the cash and bought an alpaca farm with it. What? An alpaca farm? This sounds like a plan that two dudes who have smoked way too much pot would come up with. Like this. Hey man, check this out. I'm going to grift a bunch of money from the coronavirus relief fund and then I'm going to buy an alpaca farm. Whatever, man. Don't hog the bong. So the natural question at this point is, did Dana even have a business in the first place? Well, yes, he did. It was called the Rasta Pasta Pizzeria. Wait, Rasta Pasta? Yeah, see, I told you. Now, anyhow, after Dana got the 660 k he shut down the pizzeria completely so he could buy the farm. Now, it might have been one thing to keep the pizzeria alive, but he didn't. The thing is, that relief money is to help your business survive. Not so you can shut it down and finally pursue your lifelong dream of becoming an alpaca farmer. So here's the moral, folks. Uh, Don't misappropriate federal funds, especially as in the PPP program, when you have to report back as to what you did with the money. I mean, what are you going to say? Um, wool? Anyhow, you can't blame Dana McIntyre, because maybe, you know, he was just doing what Ivanka Trump told him to do. Find something new. Until next time, this is Law Bite. See you then.